My name is Conor McGregor. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of four and one. Um, I'm an up-and-coming fighter, and without a doubt, you will see me on the UFC in the in near future. Without a doubt. I think what Connor is going to bring uh, is a little bit different to MMA uh, that people haven't seen before. All that matters is how you see yourself. If you see yourself as the king, you know, what I mean? you see yourself with all the belts and all, all everything. Uh, well, Connor, I think the way he strikes is just different to almost everybody, bar maybe Anderson Silva. And I think when people start seeing that, it's going to make them look at the striking element of MMA different than they have before. for the featherweight strap. As long as you see that and really believe in it, then that's what's gonna happen. Uh, there's some wild brash dude out of Ireland that was kicking people's asses and doing it in spectacular fashion. And, uh, you know, He's got that thing, you know, whatever it is. He's got talent, obviously he's got speed, excellent striking technique, excellent wrestling and jiu-jitsu, but he's also got that thing. It's, it's hard to figure out what that thing is, but you know when people have it. Marcus Brimage, Ready? Conor McGregor, Ready? and here we go! been uh, very stoic there with the sunglasses kind of just looking ahead not really reacting to much what's going through your mind right now um, not not much you know there's two things I really like to do and that's whoop ass and look good and I'm I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing one of them right now on Saturday night I'm gonna do the other I have no doubt my ancestors were on the war-torn Scottish Highlands, you know, and they, in, them, in them days, riding a horse, swinging a pickaxe, you know what I mean, that, that was where I was from. Competition is calming, it calms me down, it keeps me focused, I get to compete, I get to stay fresh, and I get to get rich.
in the UFC. And Connor, he's a clown. He's a joke to me. I hit a chin, like that, they fall. I'm so looking forward to this man, to shutting this guy's mouth. I get a chance to humble a guy that needs it. A guy who's gonna run into his mouth and, and nobody's, nobody's made him pay for it, so it's time to punish him. It's fear manifested in, in, in a different form. You ain't shit, boy. You ain't shit. Yeah, you ain't shit. What's up? It's good. I'm gonna crack him with a jab and I, he's gonna wobble and I'm gonna put him away early. It's gonna be a first round KO, mark my words. Come get it, Connor. the highest gate let's see who has the highest attendance i believe 2015 will be my year you know what's next that world title is next tell jose i'm coming who's done what i have done they don't move like i move they don't think like I think, and they don't talk like I talk. It's not all talk here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe out everyone in this division. I said that, and I will do it. He just does that kind of things to make fun. But with me, he's, he's in deep shit. And with me, he's in deep shit. You know why? Because Aldo is gone. He's gonna get you. O Aldo vai te pegar! Aldo will get you! O Aldo vai te pegar! Aldo will get you! O Aldo vai te pegar! Aldo will get you! Aldo vai morrer! Vou matar esse filho da puta, vou arrancar a cabeça dele. Tell him I'm coming! Hey, look, my real News came out on Tuesday, initially from the UFC Netherlands account, that UFC featherweight champion Jose Aldo had suffered a rib injury and his status for UFC 189 would be in question. Andre Pettinera, his, uh, his coach, called and basically said that Aldo's rib is, is too painful and uh, he will not be fighting. So Chad Mendez now will fight Conor McGregor for the interim belt. My mind is absolutely bulletproof, solid as a rock. I am number one. So if you are number one, who gives a shit if number two steps out in place of number three? You know, you wipe all that hype out of here, I'm gonna get in there and destroy this dude. Bottom line. You know, when the fight edges closer, I become colder. I see an object in the way that's about to get removed. And now it's time to fight. It's time to put up or shut up. 
like is problem solving. It's about being able to impose your will on opponent and problem solving. And one of the big problems that we've never seen Connor face inside the octagon is a high level wrestler. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why this fight is so exciting. Tonight, though, is a big chance for him to truly live up to his own hype. We've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all. The end of 2015 means the end of the featherweight division. They are all dead in the water. It's done. Now oh, I hope he shows up. But if he shows up December 12th, the division will be killed, like I predicted.